high management and business women. It's not always an easy combination or a happy marriage. So let me help you, give you some clarification, give you some tips, some hints, some tricks on how to uh, manage your time better. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed business women to build a business and beyond so that you can make the impact that you truly desire from your heart. So what about time management? So it often begins to start with mindset. When we start to feel overwhelmed, we start to feel that we lose control because there's so much to do. Um, ask yourself, is this true? Is this really the case? Am I losing control? Because I know for a fact, women always love to have control and be in control. And <laughs> I'm now working with a man and he says, Wow, Tineke likes to be in control so much. And I know, wow, he should have seen me three, four years ago. <laughs> if he feels I'm a control freak now, he would have freaked out. So there's, there's different levels in being a little bit more flexible about what you believe in your mind. Um, so is it really true? Are you too busy? Or are you feeling busy because you're a bit scared that it's a bit out of your league or that you have no way where it's going to go? Well, if that's the case, ask yourself the question, is it out of my league? And then so what? I mean, you, you, human race, we all need to grow. Evolution. It's also evolution of mind, evolution of actions. So yeah, it's great when it's a bit out of control. It shouldn't be that far out of your control that, that it blocks you and scares you and freaks you out. But yeah, being a little anxious about it, totally fine. Now, when you've asked yourself these questions and you know that it's just a fact, you are too busy and it's getting out of control. It's not the fear that you're getting out of control, but things are getting out of control. There's a big gap between those two because we're always scared that things are get getting out of control. But that doesn't mean they're actually happening. Okay, but okay. Suppose they are getting out of control. Then it's really time to start managing your time. And how do you do that? Start planning if you haven't done that. Allocate times in the week for certain tasks that will help you to create a habit. Your mind knows and it's going to be at ease because it knows on Monday morning you will do the bookkeeping so whenever something occurs on Thursday you can wait until Monday because you know you're going to solve it then. So that helps create blocks in the week. Also create blocks in your calendar or in your time schedule for free time because things can occur. This amazing opportunity uh, comes, this, this person calls and wants to come by, uh, 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 it could be a new client. So always schedule spare time in your calendar. Um, and you know, this is not a, a, a scheduling and, 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 and calendar uh, video, yeah? So I'm just touching the surface of what you can do. Next thing, um, very important, is starting to automate. When you start to automate, you know that recurring tasks are being done. You don't have to send an invoice to someone because it's automated when they pay in your web shop or when you send them a payment link. You can connect all of that. Yeah? So that gives peace of mind and it saves you time. And of course, one of the most important things is when you have enough money to start to delegate and to start to outsource. 
that initially doesn't give you peace of mind, I, I can assure you, because usually that's more difficult than uh, most women feel because they have to let go of control. It's, it's a big fear somebody else is taking care of parts of your business or is even taking control over parts of your business. Um, that freaks a lot of women out initially, you know, after a while they get used to that because, you know, you expand yourself, you grow. And what if you think that you can't afford it? Well, let me tell you that you can find pretty good people for five US dollars per hour. So if you can't afford that, and okay, you might not want to hear this, but if you want to take your business serious, and if you have a big vision and a big dream, doing everything on your own, that's playing small. And if you feel that you don't have the money to do this, that's, that's going into scarcity. I'd rather pay myself a little less uh, th and, 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 and give a, a little bit more money to people who I can delegate to because that gives me the potential to scale up and to make more money because it frees up my time. So in, in a couple of months, I can pay myself again. That's one, one strategy of doing it. And, you know, four or five hours, $25 a week. If you cannot outsource and delegate that, should you even be in business? Now, if you just started, there's still a lot of potential and there's still a lot of momentum. Have you been in business for a while and you cannot afford this? Please. Um, it, yeah, I'm planting a seed here. And you might not like me saying that, but I know there's many women who are in that situation. You should have money to be able to build on your business. You, you have to do that. And that's not going to come from online trainings or, well, that's a whole other story because there you need to be able to market. Um, okay. I help business women to build a business from self-employed to building a business. Now, if that's something you would want to talk to me about, Let's just check each other out in 15 minutes. You know, can't harm. It's not a lot of time. I love having these calls. And who knows, you know, if you feel that I can help you and continue helping you on that journey of creating the impact that you really truly want from the core of your heart, well, let's do that. But that's the next step. Just have a call first. I hope you've learned something. And I'm looking forward to inspire you and teach and train you again next week. Bye-bye.